Right, so it is 1am on a Friday night. George and I are on Discord. <laughs> and now I thought we'd do something a bit spooky. So today we're going to be looking through the oddly terrifying subreddit. Ooh. Which is basically a place for photos and videos that are terrifying, but not for the usual reasons. So first up, x-rays taken by the US-Mexico Border Patrol. I didn't realize they took x-rays. You see the humans in there? Yep, I have eyes. That's pretty terrifying. Imagine trying to cross the border being that cooped up. That's the fuel, wouldn't it, that they're in there? That is creepy. Are they just framed on this bloke's wall? That is framed, what the hell? <laughs> That's so bizarre. Ugh. Who the fuck is that guy? Falcor the dragon from the never ending story found in the storage unit 38. Imagine we did our storage Wars video and we <laughs> opened it and that was in there. That would be terrifying. Ooh. Fortune cookies. Someone is watching you smile. Who writes fortune cookies, by the way? I think that's supposed to be wholesome. They'd be like, whoever it is, is fucking boring. Like, make people shit themselves. What would you put? I don't know, like... Be wary of drains. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> like, make people shit themselves. Ooh. You're hard, showing off. And I'd just be laughing to myself every night knowing that somebody's opened that fortune cookie and is, like, edging down the street past trains. <laughs> I think it'd be so much more funny than just, like... You're going to encounter some good fortune. Oh, fuck off. Have you ever seen the sort of like Shein clothes and like stuff like that that are like made in sweatshops? Yeah. Some of the tags have been found to have like, please help me, no healthcare, cancer and stuff like that just written across them. Oh, God. That's mad. Oh, that's terrifying. No, the shadow's the bit that's terrifying. Well, that I don't know why I did that bit with my mouse. That is very creepy. <laughs> this deserves to be in that pareidolia. Fucking pareidolia? What sort of language are you whipping out here? Pareidolia, that's the like finding faces and patterns and things that aren't actually there. Oh, we can't have that. Infants what? getting sized. What? They don't use that. A restraining device used to immobilize infants during decision. I hope that's the only thing it's used for. That is terrifying in so many ways. My dog was pretty nervous about heading down this trail for some reason. I get the feeling that pets can just sense danger that we can't. Yeah. It kind of looks like the uh, the path in Lord of the Rings where Frodo is like, Get off the road. <laughs> Get off the road. I'm afraid I've never watched Lord of the Rings, Arthur. You've never seen Lord of the Rings? No. What is wrong with you? I felt there was something lacking from your character, but I couldn't tell what it was. And one lazy weekend, we'll just like rent out a mini cinema like room that you can do in London. Rent out a mini cinema? Or we can all just get in the same bed, pop the laptop open. See, now you're speaking my language. This is actually scary. Is it? This, look at the current. Jesus, like that's moving fast. Like... <laughs> But that oh, is at least scary. Is he making it up? Oh my, and you'd be getting more and more tired, yeah. like sprint. Oh, that is freaky. Look at how far back it goes as well. I know. If he doesn't get, why is his mate not helping him? That's fucked, isn't it? That's criminal. Oh my God. A fraction of my aunt's antique doll collection. There are hundreds. <laughs> I don't understand people that collect them. It's just weird. It's really odd. Look at that one. That's terrifying. You've even got them on plates. That room has got no purpose apart from just to hold a, some sort of satanic ritual in it. Wait, what's the point? Oh, what the what hell? What the hell is that thing? <laughs> what the Why is its face doing that? Oh, these little nostril things look a bit more like eyes as well. And that's... Yeah, they look like eyes. <laughs> it's just like I've got blokes just swimming up to the surface. That's creepy as hell. I mean, I've got a terrible phobia of jellyfish. Like, I'd genuinely rather be be stuck out at sea with a deadly shark than a deadly jellyfish. I don't think that's correct. Whoa! The big water park in Qatar. I mean, yeah, I, that looks so unsafe. Why is it all together? Yeah, let's spread it out a bit more. A dummy that was invented in 1930s to train dentists. What a dentist phantom. I don't like it. It looks like the uh, mouth of Sauron. Oh, you haven't seen Lord of the Rings? Half my comments are going to mean nothing to you. Oh, boo -hoo. Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. Oh my goodness. How do you even get up there? Is, it a is that a helicopter pad? I think so. But it's just so unnecessary, man. Well, it probably is necessary because there'll be ships coming past here. Yeah, we'll just put it on Google Maps. Isn't it? Like, why are we still even using lighthouses realistically? That is so true. Why do you need a massive light tower to just be like... 
There's rocks here. Also, there's a, there's a, there's a rock further out. And like, oh, that was close and turned into that <laughs> rock. <laughs> there were no helicopters when it was built in 1939. So people had to sail to the cliff and scale it. At that point, that's more dangerous than the possible boats that would crash. Oh my goodness. And add about work accidents posted just before 9-11. Oh God. Crikey. An unattended toddler crawled inside an x-ray machine scanner. Well, he's gonna just not at least 20 years of his life. RIP, childhood cancer. Terrible. What is that? What is wrong with people? Why do they do this to their homes? Uh, do you know what is absolutely mental? Our vote counts to the exact same as that person's vote. That is mental, isn't it? There was a place like this in Jersey, but it fell down. Some house that was just covered in shells. How oh. bizarre is that? I mean, that's less weird than, like, that's got some form of, like, artistic value to it outside of just like a fuck ton of dolls strapped to your house. You've got Shrek, a creepy Mickey Mouse. That Elmo is freaky as shit. Why is he being crucified? Okay, right. Prime Jennifer Aniston takes you back home. You've had a sweet yeah. day at the bar. Her chat's been amazing. Had a few drinks, so you're feeling good, feeling confident. Oh, stop, stop explaining, Arthur. It's going to become a standing desk soon. <laughs> and she pulls up in her house is like that. Do you still go in? Um... Yeah, I do go in. Look, the rumour is, if I remember correctly, the person lost their child. They put the toys up and things to honour their child in their own way. Now I feel bad. Oh, what my fingers look like when I get out of the bath after years of biting them. You bite your fingers? I've heard of biting the nails, but never chewing the ends of your fingers. Why are you biting your fingers? Ooh, skeletal cancer aftermath. Oh my word. Oh my God. Will it have gotten to that point before they died? Wait, you can get cancer of the skeleton? Me have you ever seen bone cancer? It's terrifying. Look at this. Oh, look. Oh, that's mental. The skeleton just seems like something that isn't even like alive. Do you know what I mean? It's just like there. Oh my word. Can you hear that screaming? There are a bunch of foxes fighting in my garden. All right, one sec. I'm going to tell the foxes to shush. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> Shh. They just go. Oh, sorry, mate. Sorry about that. We'll, we'll keep it down. Abandoned house's porch looks like a mouth with fangs. That's terrifying. Is that because it's falling down? No, I think it's just the angle. I don't understand this. Like, how do houses just get left like that? Like, if that's in the UK, that's like a three mil house. Like, if you were homeless, wouldn't you just, like, chill out in one of these? Well, that's what they do, isn't it? But it's like, I mean, they don't sort of go, right, let's go DFS, sort it out with sofa. They just sit on the floor in there. Yeah, let's do some crack in here and it becomes a crack den. Tunnel jug by the giant ground sloth in Brazil 10,000 years ago. Have you seen how big these are? No. I think there's one in the Natural History Museum. Look at the size oh, of no, this yeah, thing. No, I've, yeah, I've seen that. Those things, yeah. Yeah, they've got a skeleton of it in the Natural History Museum, and it's massive. Oh my oh, word. Oh, grow up. Just like grow up at this point. That's actively terrifying. What the f? Mate, that's gonna give me nightmares. If you stumble into a room with that, like looks like that, right, and you don't know it's an optical illusion, you are shitting yourself and never recovering. What the hell? How have they evolved to be that ugly? And also, there's such a like, weird human face about that. If you stuck an England shirt on him and had a Stella in front of him, he just wouldn't look at a place at a pub. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. Ugh, the first COVID-19 test swabs went that deep. That's just unnecessary, man. If he wakes up, it's game over. That is so big. They just are massive. That's them without going gym. Look at the size of the thing. Can you imagine how big they they'd be if they did gym. If we could just convince them to bench and squat and stuff. <laughs> That's just AI, isn't look it? At, look at the one underneath it. Fucking hell, how many abdominals have they put on him? Oh no. I do love apes. They are so cool. Ooh. The mummified head of St. Catherine of Siena. If I'm not mistaken, this woman was thought to be... Is this the... Is this the woman? I think this is the story. It might be someone else completely. But she was considered to be so pretty, they modelled the CPR dummies after her face. What? So you want to shag the dummy? Well, I don't understand why you need to make the dummy pretty. Oh no, this was someone who drowned in the River Seine. That's why I'm kind of... But the, yeah, this woman died in the Seine and looked so and peaceful. Look, she was so pretty and peaceful Started like, using her face everywhere And ended up using it as <laughs> <laughs> What the hell That's weird Miss Piggy of the Muppet Show Makes a special appearance in a children's hospital How is that kid smiling? To be fair The black and white does make it a lot creepier It's like She's got a blonde wig A nice pink face her actual eyes are showing through like... Still weird. Very bizarre. Oh my God, a nursing home flooded. Can you imagine seeing your nan in that? <laughs> that is someone's poor nan. Also, why is she just knitting? 
She's knitting themselves some wellies. Oh, this is... T have you ever seen foot binding? Well, I mean, I guess it's where their feet are basically heels. Look at what the feet look like. Oh, it's so weird. Look it's so at weird. that. Why would... Why, though? Why would you do that? Surely your balance must be shit as well. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I've seen that before. That's mental. And it was alive for, like, a few days. No way. And they were, like, trying to feed it stuff, but it just couldn't survive. One eye, two tongues, and no nose. That's so odd. But it's so mental because it's got a brain in there. Like, it thinks it's just a normal dog. This one's almost funny. First aid manual of what to do when someone is choking. You just go, don't worry, mate. I'll get it for you. Is that what you're actually supposed to do? Like, fish the bit of food out? I don't know if that would help, but surely that would... Block it again or push it in further. That's what I'd be worried about doing. My dad always told me that you're supposed to, like, find the little lump... Put two fingers then slip the throat underneath here. No. Oh shit. Because there's like no blood there and you just sort of like pull the thing out. So if the food's stuck there, you can just like breathe through there. No, I, I would have preferred the fingers down the throat as opposed to getting my throat slit if I had to have a choice. Yeah, me too, but still. All right, and on that knowledgeable cheery end, thank you everyone for watching. Let us know if you want to watch more Oddly Terrifying. Thanks for joining, George. Hope that didn't ruin your night or weekend too much. Well, I, I was planning on going to sleep, but I think I'll just stay awake upright with a torch in my bed just to go around my room <laughs> for the rest of the night. <laughs> All right, well, thanks everyone for watching. Sweet dreams. Make sure you're subscribed. <laughs> See you next time. Sweet dreams. Bye. <laughs>